Hello, here we go. Hello, I'm going uh, studying high school in Sweden and uh, I'm studying construction. Okay, like uh, you see, like this guy is in high school and he, he can be able, like we, together with his student, to construct like this kind of structures and they do them like daily. And I really like, like uh, if our students back in Kenya can also be able to be subjected to this kind of practical uh, learning that will enable them to gain uh, experience maybe before they graduate. Yeah, I think it's all good because uh, working practical is very easy because uh, you don't need to like sit on a bank every day and studying in books. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to like do something with your hands. Thank you so yeah, much. No and problem. I wish you the Thank best you. in Thank your you. studies. Thank you. The education system in Kenya, the 844, is in such a way that you have to learn a lot of subjects starting from primary then high school but in most cases you'll end up not like using these subjects in future personally when i finished high school i didn't have any practical skill even though i had, a, I had done a lot of practicals in biology chemistry and physics but these practicals could not be of any useful on the market the only skill maybe i could say i had was planting beans which I had acquired in agriculture. I don't know much about the CBC that's being implemented in Kenya, but I do hope that it will it will be more effective in skill impacting to students so that people can have skills as early as in high school. I would like to request those who haven't uh, subscribed to subscribe to this channel. And I also like to say thank you for all of those who have subscribed to this channel.